My name is Andrew Coyne, I'm the editor of businessdesk.com here in the Midlands. Uh, I'm in the offices of uh, accountancy and advisory firm EY in Birmingham and uh, it's literally 20 minutes after the budget and I've got Andrew Spence with me who's a tax partner at EY here in the Midlands. Andrew, as I say, literally 20 minutes after the Chancellor has sat down, um, what was your overriding feeling about that budget? Uh, it, well, it didn't prov provide too many surprises to us, if we're absolutely honest. I think the, the Chancellor didn't have too much room to manoeuvre. He's obviously trying to steady the ship. Uh, he's had some limited success in relation to that, as we're seeing with the, the various growth figures and the reduction in the borrowing over the cycle, and he must be quite pleased with that. Uh, but what he didn't want to do was make any significant changes so that he could maintain his course. What he has tried to do, though, I think, is to do a little bit uh, to help um, manufacturers, uh, obviously manufacture goods, but also to improve their ability to export those goods. And that's obviously the way the country has to move going forward. Uh, he talked about previously investment made in the banking sector and how the new emphasis needs to be around manufacturing and exporting. And that's really what it, I think he tried to do today. What were the key measures in there that you think Midlands businesses will be most interested in? Well, I think there were two key measures. Uh, the first one was uh, the extension of and actually the doubling of the annual investment allowance. This is an allowance that's provided to manufacturers when they invest in capital goods and equipment um, and it gives them 100% tax relief in relation to that expenditure that they've incurred. Uh, he did provide a figure which was a, a very significant proportion of all manufacturers it, it would, would be able to avail themselves of this 100% allowance. So really, um, having increased it from 250000 to 500000 uh, I think a lot of manufacturers, particularly in the Midlands, will find that uh, they get 100% relief on that expenditure, which is great news. Uh, the second area was, um, wasn't was really um, uh, anything that I could put my finger on in terms of the precise details, because we need to see those, but it related to a package of measures, which I think is going to reduce the amount of energy costs that manufacturers uh, suffer by up to £7 billion, pounds, which is a lot of money. Um, and clearly energy costs is a, is a topical uh, subject at the moment and the measures he seemed to be making may also have some benefits for, uh, for individual households as well because I think it was a reduction in the amount of carbon tax that is going to appear on, on bills. But we'll have to see the detail of that when it comes through. You mentioned exports, obviously we've got a lot of manufacturers in this region. Um, what did the budget have to say that would be of interest to manufacturers who are looking at export markets? Well, that, that was a, a point he particularly made, actually. Uh, manufacturers are provided with some export finance guarantees to help them to enter new markets and provide the, the written guarantees that they can provide those goods to the customers who, who make their orders. And what he's done is he's doubled the amount of support available to £3 billion and he's also uh, cut the interest rate that they have to pay in relation to providing that package by a third. Uh, he's, he claims that it's now the most competitive uh, export finance uh, available in the Western world, which is obviously great news for Midland exporters. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Andrew. Okay.